Sometimes your theme can cause a conflict with your plugins, which results in a specific functionality not working, or if you're really unlucky, they may leave you unable to access your site or dashboard at all. In this video, I'll show you how to change your active theme through your database. You could disable your theme with FTP, but WordPress won't let you choose which theme to use instead and will automatically set one of the default themes. If you are looking for full control, then you can change themes through the database instead. If not having full control matters to you, then simply access your website with FTP, go to WP Content, Themes, find your current active theme, and simply rename the folder. But instead of one of these default themes being active, if I wanted Divi to be active, I will have to access the database. Before you try this, we recommend you troubleshoot your plugins first. We actually just made a video on how to do that and we'll link it in the video description. And as always, create a backup just in case. That way, if something does go wrong, you can just restore it. Okay, so first up, access your WordPress database with phpMyAdmin. If you're not familiar with where to find phpMyAdmin, it's a little different for every web host, but on your cPanel, you should be able to search phpMyAdmin. Once you're there, simply click on your website from the left side. You'll see a list of all of the tables WordPress uses to store its data. The one we're interested in is usually called WP underscore options. Go ahead and click on it and make sure show all is checked. By doing so, we can now use our browser search function and simply type in template. Now, what you'll notice is if I scroll over, the option value for template is 2017. That's our current theme. But also underneath it is style sheet, which also has our current theme, 2017. To change your theme, we need to edit both rows. The problem is you can't just type in the name of the theme you want to use. For example, take the 2017 theme. It shows up as a single word, as you see right here. This is often not a problem with themes that have a single word name, such as Divi. However, in some cases, you'll need to do a little digging to find out which value to use on your database. There are a couple of ways to do this. If the theme you want to use is on the WordPress.org theme repository, you can find an option called Development Log under the Browse the Code section of its page. You'll see the theme's development name next to the word source. This is the value that you'd want to use to enable it from your database. In this example, it's ace-corporate. You could also find it by going to WP Content, Themes, and each folder is actually the value you would enter for your database. Now for this example, I will be switching my theme to Divi, so I'll simply double click on the 2017 and change it to Divi. Then I'll be sure to do that for style sheet as well. Now that we've updated both template and style sheet, let's go check out our website. And there we go, Divi is now our active theme. If this video helped you, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.